Right, it's the Xyz Cup second stage. It is live right now. When did it go live? 17th of July. No, that was before. I can't remember when the second stage came live. It was soon. It might have been today. It was probably today, actually. 26th, yes. 4 a.m., so quite a while ago. That's the right time. And it expires on the 29th of July. I am not playing three days worth of this no life in. Uh, because while I do think the reward is pretty snazzy, that's a cool little border, I, I must say. Um, it's a lot of time to spend for just these few things. Yeah, bit much for me. 50 XC's Cup reward tickets? Screw it. So, um, I'm playing not really an XC's deck. Uh, it can absolutely go into XC's. If I get three or two level 10s on the field, we can go into Gustav. Dreadnought, um, this thing, super dimensional robot galaxy. Um, we can also get level nines on the field if we somehow, if well, we can normal summon metal cruncher, special summon another one from the deck with overdrive. Uh, we can get two level sevens on the board, tons of level fours, uh, and possibly two level eights. A bit harder to pull off, but it is possible. Uh, and mainly we were kind of relying on our back row to keep us in the duel and our spells to keep our momentum up. And we have one skill drain because we're, we're naughty. We could take it out, but we don't want to. Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm happy with this. Clockwork Knight is as cool as a card as it is. It's a bit frustrating because I wish it would go to the graveyard so I could use its search effect more. But again, I know it's good on the field, but I'm just trying it out. So uh, because this is an Xyz Cup, we go against a lot of Xyz decks. Uh, to counter Zeus, we have Typhon. To counter uh, Arise Heart... Purely Noir, and any other towers we come into contact with, we have Herald of the Abyss, and we also have Destructive Daruma Karma Cannon, and also to get rid of a Rise Heart, which is a bit of a problem for us, we have Triple Tactics Thrust to Triple Tactics Talent, Steel, uh, Overlay for a Zeus, and we have two Zeuses, which Zeus is going to three soon, I think I saw, don't know how true that is, Heavy Storm is coming to the game as well in the next couple of days, I'm super excited for that. So, yeah, that's the that's the deck. Let's see how high we can climb with this. So, let's have a go. Are you using Foolish Burial uh, goods to dump Clockwork Knight? That's not a bad shout. Can Foolish Burial go goods dump a trap card as well? Because we could use that to get a overdrive in the graveyard if I really needed it. An idea, to be fair. I'm like Joey Wheeler. <laughs> Whoa! Have we heard this before? This is sick. The volume up. That's not bad. That's not a bad tune. Uh, this really needs to not get interrupted. Oh, we got called by. We're okay. Woo! Sorry. You fool! You've triggered my hand trap. Called by the grave. Stop me from adding cards from my deck to my hand, I think not. They find Harvester off a Clockwork Knight. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, you could absolutely uh, transition this deck into um, uh, Infinitrack sort of version of itself. Absolutely. Right, so we want to put a Fortress in the Graveyard to because when we normal summon our gear frame here, we can use its effect to add... I guess we can get the Rune Force, can't we? You either get the Rune Force or the Citadel. It really depends. It depends what you're after in life. What are we on? Summon number three. Summon number four is the next one. I guess this is where we start considering, do I want to look for a Nibiru in their hand? If there was a Nibiru, would I mind? Ooh, music's uh, picked up. 
All right, draw two, hopefully get some traps. Look at my opponent's hand, remove some of their resources. Options. Let's go with thrust first then. So I can set one card on the field. Daruma Cannon would be nice. Ice Dragon's Prison would be nice. Uh, Overdrive would be nice as well, to be honest with you. Uh, I think we'll go Overdrive. Alright, and finally, Triple Tactics. Should we draw or should we rip a card? We don't know what the opponent's playing, but they're playing Droll. How confident do I feel with my current hand? Hand rip, we think. Pearly. I'm going to put my friend Pearly in the grave then. Get it out of here. Oh, back into the deck. Oh, he'll get that then. This music is awesome. Honestly, might have benefit from drawing two there. We can... We don't have an amazing hand. With that in mind, now that I know what they're playing, I wish I'd have taken um, uh, the Rumor Cannon, because that could have dealt with his Noir. Let's see how things go. It's fine. <laughs> There's the Pearl Lily. If you had hand ripped first, you would have known what they were playing before thrusting. That is very true. I, I hadn't decided yet if I was going to um, draw or rip those, so that was anything. Stray Pearly Street. Field spell. Ooh. Field spell and that continuous spell together. Absolute nightmare fuel. Honestly, I probably should have done this a bit earlier. It's a shame that Xyz doesn't have like a trigger ability if I destroy it. Oh my god. Cheers, thank you. ADL, thank you very much. Cheers. See you later. Energy just got battled. It's not a quick effect, is it, or is it? Yeah, it is. High five. What will the opponent do here? I managed to peek at plat five, my firewall code talker deck. Then it was a fall from gray. Stools back to back. I fell all the way down to bronze. Ooh. Is this when you could D rank? I don't fall that far. I can pop in battle phase, yes. I'm hoping it's not immune to everything. Well, we'll find out. I don't know if he protected it with anything. I haven't been paying super attention. Which is why I'll I'll never be great. Oh nice, it wasn't. Um. Diamond with Gem Knights? Bad play.
I don't mind. This is all happening outside the battle phase. I'm going with it. My overdrives aren't live because I've already used one. I can use one of those effects per turn. But I can shuffle, shuffle my two Earth machines back into the deck, the Xyzes. And I can put in probably my gear frame. Actually, no. I could probably put Uncle Spare back in the deck. Because then I can normal summon gear frame. Special summon Uncle Spare from the deck. That's probably the move to, to go into. I'm dealing with a Noir on their side of the field, though. So I'm going to really need one of my uh, Noir outs. Sooner rather than later. Generic Earth support. Is there, um, you know, the, is it the channelers? The ones where you discard itself and uh, the same attribute to add another monster with the same attribute, but like a lower attack or something. Uh, is it Heat of the Fire channeler? That's what you use in, um, I was using it in my Volcanic deck. Oh, there is an Ossa the Earth channeler. I guess that's kind of Earth support. Most Earth monsters have quite low attack points. Mostly. I guess it depends. I remember when uh, Earth... I guess it's rock. Rock monsters typically have high defense, low attack. I love your, your YouTube... Oh, Fenrir, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, that was to me. Glad you like them. Hope I can keep making content that you enjoy. I've got a... Um, I think my next video is going to be on the Dark Magicians. Every single, um, I don't know how I've, I'm opening it yet, but it's like, what's the deal with Dark Magician? No, it doesn't open like that. It's like, uh, the Dark Magician, a popular Yu-Gi-Oh card, uh, obviously, because it was used by the main character. But have you ever thought about how many different Dark Magician spin-offs, alternate artworks, upgrades, downgrades there are in the world? Well, guess what? I've made a video all about them, and I thought it'd be cool to look at each one. So, let's start first with... And then we go into the original Dark Magician. And then we do the 13 alternate artwork Dark Magicians. Yes, 13. Um, and then there's, like, the Xyz counterparts. There's two of them. There's, like, main deck upgraded versions. Dark Sage, Eradicator Warlock. Um, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, the one from the uh, Bonds... Bon bon not Bonds Beyond Time movie, the other one. Uh, Pyramid of Light. So there's, there's a lot to uh, draw from. You're so famous. I am not famous. I have a, a small YouTube following. I do appreciate. And yet Dark Magician is still not good. <laughs> Yeah, but there's some alternate versions of it in, like, I don't know, like, Illusion Magician. That's the Illusion variant of it. There's, um, I can't remember any others. Yeah, you're right. The, the, it needs more support. No, it doesn't need more support. It's got enough support. It needs a permanent retrain for, like, a Dark Magician deck or something. I don't know. What's your favorite archetype? My name is Cybertrackin. Mine's Cyber Dragon as well. The Cyber Dragon, uh, the original artwork one with the purple background, that's my favorite monster of all time. Uh, if you just put a gun to my head though and say pick another archetype apart from Cyber Dragon, uh, I probably would say the the Charmers. I just like their art artwork and their lore and everything. I think they're cool. I think they're nifty, what Marge would say. I think they're neat. <laughs> Oh, why are you just talking about potato clocks? I forgot what she says. I don't know, I just think they're neat. Overdrive. Targets one, two, three. Now the problem is Noir can put stuff back into my deck from the graveyard, which is obviously not ideal. Oh my god, that's a bit much. I'm kind of tempted to just special summon this straight to the field. Oof, but I lose a lot of stuff. 
We'll see what happens. Number seven, gear frame. Gear frame's effect. I was hoping to add uh, Uncle Spare. But it appears we can't have everything. So we'll add Air Raider. God, this music is so good. <laughs> Unfortunately, his monster is too weak. Uh, also, he's got too many materials for me to affect it. With um, Typhon. Maybe he just doesn't know about my graveyard. He'll go over the top or something. Oh, that puts him under four. He's He must be going for... <gasps> interesting. Very interesting. Fortress will rip a card from his hand. Hmm... The other two. I don't really mind the other two. Annoying, I'm going to have to... I have to... I have to summon it. It sucks. It's just going to get put back into the deck. I wish you were a quick effect. I really do. And then we go for Zeus... We need, we need an in and out. I, what I should have done at the start of this duel was literally see what he was playing with, my triple tactics talent, and then thrust a Daruma cannon face down. I would have been in a much better position as long as he couldn't remove it. So he's going to bounce that back into the deck now. But... Crushing. And then say goodbye to my last material. This bloody cat. Right, we shuffle free with overdrive in the graveyard. We hope he chains his uh, Droll to it, because that would hurt him, I think. But I don't think that's going to happen. Pirelli is top five most hated uh, of your most hated decks. I think Pirelli can be frustrating. They've got, like, incredible recursion. Their boss monster is very, very, very difficult to deal with, and it... It can really, really interrupt you. Oh, God, I was meant to... There we go. Sorry about that. So we want to put one, two, three back into the deck. I'm hoping they're a click... But... Oh, they had an ash. I don't think I'm surviving another turn. Funny how you bring one giant, super cool looking monster just to be deleted by a cat. Yeah. A cat with wings. Cat with wings. It's very owl like, isn't it? Consistently put up a tower that bounces cards and can draw up six times. Yeah. Dr did they need to draw, like, three times at the start of their turn? That's a bit much. You put the monster on the field and the cat knocked it off the table. No, 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 kitty, no. A dog archetype would never do this, no. Uh, he did use a dog. He used a dog right here. Awesome. Hey, I got life points. Did you know about fur, fur, fur? Oh, fur hire. They're a bit of everything, aren't they? They're like a, an actual furry archetype. They're a bit of everything. 
Or are they just dogs? Fol Folgo's a wolf. I can't think of any of the fur hire monsters. There's that one that looks out like the... It's got like a telescope or something. Yeah, my friend Pirelli getting back all lost advantage is insane. That's why you have to deal with it, but they always protect it. Unchained got dogs. That is a dog a dog deck. That is true. You got deck dog, blue dog, red dog. New blue dog and new red dog as well. What is a side deck in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, a side deck is when you play in a competitive tournament. Games are played best of three. So with a side deck, you can pick 15 cards to put in there. And then in the middle of a duel... So after you've just lost your opponents and they're playing like a trap heavy deck, you look in, you can say, all right, I'm going to side some cards in. You look in your uh, side deck and then you get all your Harpies, Feather Dusters, your Heavy Storms, your Mystical Space Typhoons, and you take those nine cards or whatever, put them in your deck and you put the nine cards in your deck that you don't want in there into your side deck. And that's what siding is. It allows you to not be punished for not building a deck to deal with every deck because that's impossible because obviously in a tournament you're going to go against something that your deck has just literally no way of, way of dealing with and that's just the way things work sometimes so it's good to have a um, bit of variety the spice of life in your extra deck it's the deck you cheat on your main deck with <laughs> just side piece Mm-hmm. They should the gate as well. Gotta say a big thank you. Watching your archetype videos got me into the TCG. Just know you make coming back to you, you have 20 years, easy and enjoyable. Well, thank you for the compliments, and I do apologize uh, if you come back, go on Master, play on Ranked, and realize what like modern day Yu Gi Oh is like and everything. But uh, if you're enjoying it, that's good to hear. Really good. DJS is hated for going for the overlay icon. If I don't get it, I don't get it. It's absolutely fine. Oh my god. I've got to move... Look at this what I've got to deal with. I've got to move two, four, six, three bounces, so three interrupts, plus one board wipe, plus whatever his two face downs are. That's six interrupts. Hopefully he doesn't draw an Ash Blossom, and hopefully he doesn't draw a Maxi, or else that's too much. Here we go, before he draws into Ash, I guess. Why does it just say Duelist as name TGS Anime? Where have you seen that? Oh, you mean here? Uh, because we're on um, the Duelist Cup, aren't we? It just doesn't display each of our names. If I remember right. Uh, I can do nothing with this. I've got no Link Monsters to go into. I should probably scoop here. This is uh this is an L. The fire fire king street stick. Oh, I have um Oh, both of his monsters have uh too much attack points. So Noir can't activate its effects, I'm pretty sure. Uh but it's still immune. This thing isn't immune. Time won't negate its effects until the end of this turn. This is a quick effect. Never mind. <sighs> so he'll just, uh, he'll just noir me. My favorite animal is a wolf. I wish they would make a wolf archetype or a wolf themed one. You have to make a new archetype based on your favorite animal. What would it be? 
Favorite animal? I don't know what my favorite animal is. Um. Um. Yep. I'm screwed here. I, I genuinely, I don't know what my favorite animal is. I don't think I have one. I like dogs. I like cats. Not these cats, obviously. Um, wolf, wolves are cool. Snakes are okay. We've already got some of the... Most of these we already have archetypes for. Sea Serpent archetype, Diadelus. Oh, beside Diadelus. How would people get banned from Astor? Mm. I don't know. Could you slow play so much that you could get banned? Maybe you could put... Maybe if you've got an offensive name, but there's no way of reporting that, so... I don't know. Yeah, apart from cheating, I'm not too sure how you would... Uh, how you'd ever get banned from this. Probably making, like, multiple accounts or something if they... I mean, people do that all the time, though, so I don't know. I don't have a clue. A dedicated sea serpent deck. Um, there's... Aqua decks out there. There's a couple Sea Serpent decks. I, I don't think there's a ton that have had modern day support though. Underwater volcanoes. Oh, like a water attribute fire type deck. I think there's one monster in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, it's called like Fire Kraken or something. Jeez, look at this hand. End phase then. Now for about how people could have slurs in the name. Yeah, I mean, like, obviously me streaming, like, I've come across it probably not a ton, like, two or three, maybe four times. And I've gone to the first time I went on the setting, like, a uh, report thing just to see if you could report it. You can't. There's nothing for that. Umi. Oh, yeah, I guess there's an Umi deck. That's true. Okay, I think I really need to prep harder for the uh, Pirelli stuff. Mm, do I want to negate that now? This guy's not can add a Pirelli card from the deck to your hand. The problem is, if he puts the continuous spell on the, the field spell on the field, I can't target his Pirelli monsters anymore. Which is not ideal. That's a shame. That would have been great as well. I could have got a, a fortress on the field, uh, a Mac and a gear frame, put the Mac and a gear frame into the graveyard with my overdrive, um, summoned maybe a metal cruncher. They did have the field spell. Why didn't he activate that straight away? Your opponent. Oh. Special summoned. So the normal summon would still have. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have been protected. Here they come to run my day. Had a great day yesterday, food wise. Really good on the diet. Today, not so good. I was off to Chinese. How could I say no? I just had a chocolate bar and a muffin brought up to me. I gotta say no to that. I haven't played a single Utopia deck in this entire event, no. Utopia got an FDK. They sure did. What did you just absorb? What was that? Oh, my overdrive. Had the copyright thing go. It went well. Um, 
So, when the initial claim came in, I disputed it. And then within 24 hours, they were like, no, what you're doing is wrong. Uh, we reject your dispute. So then I did a second one. I'm like, have a look at it again. Honestly, what I'm doing is it meets fair use and everything. So it should be fine. I think it's the second one. And they were like, no, no. We're putting our foot down. No. So you're like, oh, God, here we go. Now I've got a counterclaim, which is like a really big deal. Because if you lose, you get a copyright strike. If you get a copyright strike, you can't upload a video for a week. You can't monetize your video. You don't make any money from uh, stuff. It's an absolute nightmare. And the worst thing of it all is if you lose, that means the person who is striking you can be like, well, we've won this case. That means we can systematically go through all of his content, just eradicate it all, which would have been horrific. But luckily, uh, we won. So they get a week to respond to a, an appeal, and they, they uh, never replied. They just didn't do it, which I was absolutely fine with. Um, I was kind of hoping I would have got like a definitive yes. Absolutely everything you're doing is fair use fine and everything. Even though I'm 100% sure that's what I'm doing, it would have been nice to have it on like paper or like an email saying, YouTube saying, we've reviewed your case. We've seen what the person, this person said, this company, we've seen what you've said about your work and everything we've seen uh, in the context of where you are uploading your videos to the audience that you are making your videos for. Um, what you're doing is fair use and falls under uh, fair dealings, fair use. So all good. It would be lovely to have that on a piece of paper or an email. Uh, but unfortunately, they just didn't reply to the, the appeal in the seven days. So both of the charges got dropped, which was really nice. Um, so yeah. Will there be more like more things like that in the future? Probably. Um, but it is, it is my first time going through an appeal. So it was obviously quite scary. But I'm uh, very happy to have uh, gone through it. So it means... I'm still going to make more dual analysis. I literally, the last video I made, had footage from the anime in anyway. Um, so it's sound. Copyright is not a crime. Hmm. It depends. Like, I imagine I can't make a Yami Yugi plushie. I actually don't. This is where I don't know, actually. I couldn't make like a Yami Yugi plushie and sell it. I don't think. But there are YouTubers that do sort of toe the line with that. I guess I guess there is some like Yugi tubers that sell like sleeves or mats with Yu-Gi-Oh monster likenesses on them. Uh, and I know I know Konami definitely doesn't like that, but I guess I wonder how that works. Um, like how how allowed are you to do that? Do we know if this was just a copyright troll? I mean, that is, there is a chance of that, um, but I don't think it was. Um, I think the, it was the company that uh, put the claim in is a, um, what are they called? Oh, I forgot, I forgot the name of them, but basically they work for uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh animating company, uh, the Japanese one. What is it? Nan... Oh, I forgot the names. I should know this off by heart. But yeah, I think it was legit. But the only, the, the only really sucky thing, which at the end of the day, of all the bad case scenarios that could have been, if the worst thing... No, it's not Gallop. Gallop was for the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! of Reigns, I think. But the, um, the only sucky thing about the whole thing is I've had seven days worth of revenue for two videos just gone which really sucks because the the three hour uh battle city finals video did really bad at the start and then it just shot up it did amazing it got like a hundred thousand views like in just a few days uh and in a three hour video people watching about 40 50 minutes of that that's incredible but unfortunately i have made i the, the revenue i would have made is gone because uh i'm pretty sure they took my uh they took the advertising off of it. So, just it's just really frustrating. I'll be honest. Is this the one that annoyed me last time? Was pretending to target one effect monster controls and get its effects? This is a quick effect. This card has a pretty memory on there. 
pretty memory. It does have it. It's the same situation I was in last time. I put this on top. Oh, it just negates, doesn't it? Oh, um... You'll have to use Zeus, I guess. Do you think I have a chance to do well in the Xyz Cup using my Galaxy Photon deck? I've been using it for months. Or do you think Galaxy Photon is overused? So people might expect it. Galaxy Photon is definitely not overused. Uh, you can 100% play that deck. Um, I think it'd do well enough. Obviously, it won't be as strong as the the Pirellis that we are playing against now. Or Kashtira to a degree. Some of the other decks. But you can definitely play it. That was my backup deck, to be fair. I think we have to... Oh, no, we can't... We, yeah. I think we can put Zeus on the field. I think we needed our effect. Oh, no, we can't put Zeus on the field. Ignore me. I never lost against one, though. Playing Exorcister, is that anything? I think Exorcister might be the way to go. And it's kind of budget-friendly, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, Galaxy is very accessible. Uh, as Garts has just said. Structure deck. Structure deck made it really cheap for me to make. Is that a six material Zeus? Oh my god. It's not budget friendly. Oh, I do apologize then. Don't collect sister cheap by any means. Oh, my bad. I didn't think it was so bad. The more you know. phase. Do I get my uh, Typhon effect back? I do. Secret Pack made it cheaper. Exo is all you are's. Waifu tax, Sam. Waifu tax. Of course, of course. How could I forget? Uh, Pirelli seems to be a really bad matchup for us at the moment. Any more Daruma or um, the one that we sent a card? Nine main deck URs, five extra URs minimum. Yeah, brand is expensive. I'm glad that they're um, banning the gimmick puppet of strings. No, not strings. The, the stupid floodgate one. And that other monster that they, that one branded extra deck monster can summon to the opponent's side of the field. I'm glad they're gone. Sanctifier, Sanctifier. Give me put in Nightmare. Thank you. That's the one. Yeah, I'm glad that's gone. I do not like this muffin. I think it's lemon. Or lime or something. Food tax is expensive. <laughs> the food archetype. Uh, Nouvelle. I watched um, the first episode of The Bear today. Uh, I've got Disney Plus for a little bit. Um, that's probably one of the most stressful first episodes of a show I've ever watched. It was just literally just... How, how long was the episode? 40 minutes? It was just 40 minutes of screaming. People shouting at each other. Where's the lame sauce? Would you ever want to host an official Master Duel tournament or TCG Regional YCS? Me? Um, I don't know. Um, a, a while ago, when I was still best buds with Konami, uh, they did ask me to host the um, the is it the Duelist Cups? What do they? What does Farfa hosts? Um, the Duel Duelist Cups? Is that right? But I, I said no. I said it. Uh, I, I didn't want to, like, fit it into my schedule and everything. And I didn't know how much time it would take up for me. So I did say no at the time. Plus, 
my, my audience isn't huge on uh, Twitch. Challenger Cup, that's the one. They're neat. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they can give out prizes and everything. Quite a quite a smart idea to do, really. So the brother from Shameless dropped out of college to cook, pretty much. I don't know why I'm like still hanging around because I've there's there's nothing I can draw. You can only use decks from his monthly challenges. What? So you can only play decks that I've played at some point in the past. What would you guys play then? What would you like to play? You got your choices of Cyber Dragon, Dragon Maid. Branded, even though it was branded before all the uh, the new stuff got added, but I guess that still counts. Uh, Shifters! Oh, thank you for the 100 bits! Thank you for supporting the channel, I do appreciate it. Charmers. That is an actual Charmers deck. You can't just play Sky Striker, because... Uh, uh, two losses in a row is not good, by the way. Ancient Gear. You could play Ancient Gear if you wanted to, if you wanted to um, make a statement. So you would have the options of Cyber Dragon, Dragon Maid, Despia Albaz, Kaiju, Six Sam, Vampire Hero, Earth Machine, Cyber Dark, Dark Magician, Gravekeeper, Toons, uh, Dark World, Trickstar, Blue Eyes, Buster Blader, Malefic, Telements, Nouvelle, Machina, Roid. Gate Guardian, uh, whoever plays Roid, fair play. Uh, Fright Fur deck, Charmer deck, Gren Marju, Banish deck, Unchained, Volcanic, Trap Tricks, Umi Control, Zark, Galaxy Eyes, uh, and possibly Ubel. And there's like Winged Dragon of Ra, but they were only like mini ones. Anime deck only. Oh, you played Unchained? I did. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting another Herald in there. Herald would help. Maybe I've just been not drawing amazing. To be fair, I think if I didn't whiff with my triple tactics... Actually, I think that was the first duel. This is a different duel. Believe in the heart of the brick. I would like to play something other than uh, Pearly, though, for this game. Would be nice. I'd think about making a Trickstar deck, but I might wait until the new support comes in Master Duel. I'm quite excited for that. I'd probably pick Trickstar back up again uh, when the support comes out. This is a nice hand. Machina redeployments. Let's send to our graveyard. Overdrive for the draws. Or fortress. Mm, we'll keep the overdrive. Saves me adding it later, doesn't it? So we want a git frame to normal summon. And an uncle spare. Right, because we've already got Fortress in the graveyard, we don't need to prep anymore. That's nice. So we can send whatever we want. I guess I'll send um, a Citadel. Nice. Normal summon. Ooh. So then we take a Ruin Force. Nice. Let's go into Gear Gigant. I normally love Xyz decks, especially Earth Machine, Machina, but this event really wore me down with Endless Cash and Pearly. Yeah, I'm sure I saw a video. I don't know whose video it was, but I think the title of it is Why, why Do People Hate This Event So Much? I think it's a combination of the Cup events, Duelist Cup and Xyz Cup. This is the first time they've done this, right? Dueling three days non-stop to get any kind of prize is... It's never good, is it, really? Nobody really wants to do that. 
Um, and yeah, playing Pearly and Kashtira so much. Play a Phantom deck. Uh, what do you think of them? Phantom, as in Phantom Knights? Uh, spicy, sounds cool. by infinite impermanence I can overdrive those can stay in the grave I mean I could summon ruin force to the field here and then I could destroy ruin force with my own overdrive and that would let me special summon citadel uh, but not uncle spare and then I can actually make it next turn Options. Oof. Cash Tira. We do have a board wipe though, which is nice. I think we wait for him to get. I think we negate Unicorn's effect to add a continuous spell. And then. Once he gets another one on the field, we wipe the field. I just don't like him getting the continuous spell or the trap on the field. And the continuous spell as well. Uh, it ruins my graveyard if I activate a spell card, which I don't like. Which we really need. Sturthrosis. No worries. Sorry, Vespinato. So, what are we summoning? Shall I summon a Metal Cruncher or shall I summon a Fortress? Twenty eight hundred attack is an issue. I got the Metal Cruncher. So, Citadel's effect comes back to the field. Metal Crunch's effect. Um, and then Fenrir will resolve after all this. One, two, three. Any of those, please. Didn't need gear frame. Please don't give me gear frame. I've just realized I don't need it. Good enough. Summon. Right, so now, both of his monsters are alive. I'm losing something from the extra deck, which I don't care about. Uh, but the Fenrir has to target something. He goes for the back. We knew it was coming. That was fine. Activate the effect of Citadel. Destroy Citadel before it gets banished face down, which we don't like. Wipe the field. Now, he still has a normal summon. If he special summons... Ooh, thank god I've got that call by. Kashtira Horus. Absolutely nutty. Brilliant. I feel confident, but obviously a lot can happen now. He could already have the continuous spell. Possible. Tenement Kashtira. It's in a ton of Cash Horus the past three days in the event. Oh! Oh, it's used its effect, I see. Terrible Mills. Nice. Python. Okay. Oh, his monsters... Um, do they do that on purpose? Do they want it to have more attacks so that... They can use their effects? Or is it like an unfortunate... Oh, no. My monster's got more than 3,000 attack now. Can't do anything.
9, 10. I wouldn't mind the eights in there, but. So, Fortress, Dump Cruncher, Summon Fortress. Switch that into attack. Regulus' effects. What's the smallest monster we've got here? Mm. I think a nine and a four is fine, so. Let's get the gear frame. <sighs> oh no, he doesn't know how it works. Duelist. You know what? I'm even going to dodge that. Screw it. <laughs> I don't need to, but I'll do it. <laughs> that wouldn't have done anything. My, um, I'm pretty sure my Regulus was still would have gone to the field. It still would have had its effect. And I still... What he should have banished there was obviously my... Um, my rune force. Hey, we won one. Nice. I can actually increase my uh, my little score now. One zero forty-four. That's right, isn't it? One thousand and forty-four. I'm at level eighteen. I ain't gonna try. <laughs> The only reason I'm trying is because I was at level 19 and I was like, if I can get to level 20 before the when I would stream starts, start, I'll do it. And unfortunately I did. So I was like, all right then, we'll give it go. Uh, I'm actually, I might check how many points I need to be top 100 at the moment. What do you need to be to go to Worlds? Um... Do you need like top, is it top 10 for the Duelist Cup? Oof. I faced an opponent who was using the same deck as me. It was Battle of Who Built Their Galaxy Photon Deck Better. He won, but it was still a fun duel. That's good. Top two, isn't it? Oh, is it? Okay. So at least we've got 98 more slots. I've got to risk the Ash Blossom. That's the only thing. You've seen a lot of Galaxy players? I'm shocked. Imperm here would be nice, just to get rid of it. Never mind. I'd rather thrusts before redeployment. I've already got my Machina Overdrive. So what do we want face down on the field? I'm going to put... There's a strong chance we're playing poorly. So I think we put the Rumor Cannon face down. And then we redeploy. We dump the Fortress. take a citadel and we take this hand is great if my opponent didn't max see me uh, also that was a small misplay I think we stopped there Then again, I can I could achieve my life ambition. Summon Rune Force. Mm -mm -mm. It depends what they do. It's too much summoning. It's too much. It's too much. I am, I, I'm gonna end my turn. Maxi.
sounds. Your life ambition can wait. <laughs> my life ambition is to summon Ruin Force on my first turn to just go for it. And then overdrive it away as like a, a clever plot twist. Oh no! What's the rules of... Uh, I mean, about Make your opponent banish cards from their field face down so they control the same number of cards you do. Woofed. Um... Now, what's the problem with this? I don't. I don't really want my um, citadel be face down. TGS, wish me luck. Scary Saku, good luck. Wish you all the best. Oh, I have to banish it anyway. Overdrive can go. Metal Cruncher obviously can go. I think I'm going to keep the Daruma Cannon. Oh, Vanish Face Down as well. Oh, that went out. That was, that, that was good. Well done, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Good play. Good play. You can, I can summon you an attack as well. Why not? Probably shouldn't have. But let's see how things go. In the future, you'll want to use Overdrive before... The end of the battle phase. Yeah. I guess this would have been the... Yeah, but I've got two cards now. As opposed to, to one. Oh, so Overdrive goes to the grave. That's true. <sighs> my Daruma! Oh my god, calm down! I did let him... He did max see me, actually. Maxi, Evenly, Harpies, Imperm, now what? I reckon it's Kashtira, I don't know. Ah, oh, it's Exorcist and no. I love, my, my deck loves taking stuff out the graveyard. Did you say I made his fan page okay? What do you mean? Do I have one? I don't think so. I've got a y y Yugi Wikia page thing. Yugi, you, 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 Chubia Wikia? I don't even know what it's called. Bum, 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 bum. Supreme Crimson's Ark on my first turn. It was my only goal. Once And once I'd done it, I thought to myself, did I really just spend a couple of weeks doing one, one petty thing? No, that's pretty good. You worked towards a goal and you achieved it. So like I copy your videos, but I credit you. I still don't understand a fan page. I copy your videos, but I credit you. I tag you in a video you made. Everything you're explaining just sounds like stealing content. I think you need to go into a bit more detail. Embed. As in like you repost the link to it? I'm, I'm confused. Not like make a YouTube channel, take a video from somebody else and put it on YouTube. That's not what you mean. Ah, I can't dodge. No reposts. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Make a fan page of you. I think I need to, I think I need context. I have no idea. Yeah, I guess if it's like on like Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Yeah, I guess so. Like a TGS wiki page. 
Ain't my second language. That's okay. That's no worries. Yeah, I guess if it's anything... I mean, you can do what you want, to be honest with you. It's absolutely fine. Or I take your video, scrub the audio, and then dub over it. <laughs> what if I get the... Um, what's it called? When you get the... Uh, the sub, just the subtitles and read them off. Uh, Scary Saku, honestly, you can do whatever you want. As long as it isn't literally just... Copy the video. Like, bandicam it. And then upload it to a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's the only thing I probably wouldn't be very cool with. You can do it, but... Be friend the bomb. Someone dubbing your video into another language. Mmm... I don't really like that. Um, there was... It depends. No, I don't like that. It, it's up to me, really, um, to provide that for an audience. So, obviously, if I'm not doing that, then that's on me. Um, I, should, I should do that. But I think it was Mother's Basement. He found uh, one of his... One of his audience said to him that there's a Spanish-speaking YouTube channel. And basically what they're doing is just saying your dialogue. And they're putting different footage. Um, so that was like a big thing. And it did actually happen to, to me and a couple... I think it was a YouTuber called Enigma, I think his name was. There's Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Um, I forgot the name of the YouTube channel. But it was a... I think it was a Spanish channel. And what they would do is literally copy the scripts for my videos because you can get the, the the cc up or whatever it's called um and then just read that and then they would put their own footage over the top of it but sometimes they just use my footage as well because i remember i was watching the one i was watching, look, reading my script as their video was going on like it's exactly the same and then you see like the tgs anime um it was like the logo was somewhere and i was like it's my footage as well <laughs> If I request isolated audio of you saying something, I find amusing. Would you? Yeah, that's fine. You can do whatever you want with my... Uh, uh, almost anything you want with my likeness. I don't mind. Yeah, if, if you ever duel against me or anything like that and you want to use footage from like a VOD or something, you, you don't need to ask permission. Just go for it. Absolutely fine. If you ever like to use the Yu-Gi-Oh! Lo-Fi music in the backgrounds of your your videos live streams or anything like that you're more than welcome to i'd appreciate it if you put the little um this music was provided by tgs anime lo-fi blah 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 in the description no obligation to do that you do whatever i want my likeness tgs anime no <laughs> to a degree you don't mind if i just take your videos and post them with uh, no change at all seems fair okay thank you please don't do that <laughs> Famous last words. That'll be used against me in a court of law. Uh, judge, I, I do not like... Um, what's it called when you stick someone's face on another person? Um, when they lewd it. What's it called? Uh, oh, God. When they'll put like a celebrity on a porn star's face. It's got a name. Um... No, not rule 34. That's a that's a different thing. <laughs> Deep fake, that's the one. Uh judge, uh this person has took my face and deep faked me. <laughs> Onto Pornhub. He says, ah, ah, but this is what he said. He said this, so I can do it. And he's got you there. You did say you can use your likeness. I gotta not think of deep fake then. Could you isolate the audio of you saying Variety is the spice of life then make a Google post for me? What, like, you mean like Variety is the spice of life. How do you want it? Did you want the face? No, no, probably don't want the face. Variety is the spice of life. The spice of life is variety. Is that what you want? <laughs> 
Mr. Who's the Boss was showing off a scam reports app to demonstrate that. Ooh. That's not good. Spellcaster, Spellcaster, Warrior! Oh my god! Preferably the audio from your video where you did it un unintentionally. Oh, which video is this? Um, I probably wouldn't be able to isolate it. I don't have the, the, the raw audio anymore, I don't think. Unfortunately. I was hoping you'd remember. <laughs> no. Uh, where would I say variety is the spice of life? I imagine I would say that in the... How many decks Yugi's deck has spun off into? Probably not, actually. I'm trying to think of all my scripts now. No, like if you're sponsoring an app that allows you to send it links and videos and it will tell you whether or not it's a scam or not, or if it's fake. Ah. I see. The sound is full. I'm getting the... Uh... I might need to transition into the Galaxy deck, you know, because we're kind of getting cooked here by quite a few decks. Maybe Machin has lost its stuff. Maybe it was good two years ago, but now it's just too slow. I was not expecting to drop... $15,000 in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, $10,109 for my IRL max rarity deck, $2,000 for free extra copies of Dragon Master Magia and the rest of the new Exodia booster boxes. What? How much did the free um, Dragon Master Magias cost you? Were they like two or three hundred quid? Uh, two hundred, three hundred two or three hundred dollars or something and then the rest was like a lot humble brag <laughs> the major three copies of major weren't two thousand dollars right the six hundred pound the six hundred dollars each six hundred fifty that's insane That is bonkers. You are right. It's $1,500 for a set. That's... That's mad. Is it even that good? It's the one that... Um, it can negate one monster, one spell, one trap, and summon like a Dark Magician, uh, Magician of Chaos, or like a Buster Blader or something, isn't it? Did mean to say, save that replay? Oh, they only exist as quarter century rare in the TCG. So that's why the that's why they're so expensive. They're gonna go up eventually as well. Oof. Mad. Fair play. So what's the plan? Is it to you're gonna hold on to the cards or you're gonna try and like sell them before they get a reprint or something? Can't be ripping players off. It's better than it should be for a special prize card. Blue eyes on the new sport can bring it out. It's the for collectors only. Oh, okay. Gonna hold on to them. Fair play then. Yugi's deck has so many spin-off decks and spin-off archetypes. If you think about 
without Yugi, the Yu-Gi-Oh that we know today probably would not be as good or fun. No. I mean, while many of Yugi's decks, spin-off decks, aren't really integral to, like, the survival of the game or anything like that, um, I think if you didn't have Yugi as the main character and just the way the original series was, probably wouldn't be as recognizable and awesome as it is now. I have seen the new Quick Play Monster Reborn, yeah. Uh, a reference to um, Battle City, I think. How you could set normal spells face down and they'd become live during your battle phase or your next turn. So I think that's why it's called like Spell Card Monster Reborn. Dragon Master Magia is basically too good for a special collector's card because it's very playable in current Blue Eyes decks and even in Branded. What's funny is Team Samurai has three of those Magia in uh, in his side and when asked why, he's like, for flex. <laughs> Doesn't even do that because if you set a quick play, you kind of activate it on the same turn. Yeah. I think the original series was just at the right place at the right time. All of the series, I think, are better in quality. I think the original series, in hindsight now, could definitely have had, like, the fat trimmed. Um, I don't know how it worked with the manga. Like, was the manga still coming out when the anime was coming out or anything like that? Because... I guess, well, I guess it does end the same. There's a lot of filler. And filler nor normally occurs because they're not caught up with the manga. So I don't know if it's like that kind of situation. But I still personally... I know some people are like really sick of like nostalgia Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, all right, let's just move on to the future now. But I really would like... Uh, a retry of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series with you just give everyone modern decks and everything and I guess you're following the same plot line but you make it like 24, 48 episodes. I don't know. You just stick to the the actual story told or something. Could be fun. Capsule Monsters Shudders. There was some cool like armor designs on that though. That was pretty sick. Original series had some of the best dub, and the rest are mostly terrible. I guess you get a mixed bag with some characters. Some characters are are okay. Like, Yuma's dub voice isn't great. I think some of the Arc 5 dubbing isn't great either. I think the dub script sometimes, they tend to have a little bit more fun than they did in the uh, the original Japanese. Like, the original Japanese is taking itself quite seriously most of the time. Whereas something like Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains is, like, goofy. Which I don't mind, because it's kind of funny. I think Yusaku has a conversation about um, hot dogs or something like that. It's like, oh, do you think hot dogs are um, a sandwich? Or do you think they're uh, something else? I can't remember what they say. It's just like it's just a weird conversation. But uh, I should definitely have uh, evenly matched here, by the way. I should not have summoned that. Uh, Fenrir's used its effects. Spell card ones use its effects. Um. Do I risk drawing two? Oh, I can't draw anymore. I'm going to make a, a Zeus with only one material. Okay. Oh, no. How did this happen? Oh, schedule. Fudge. 
from the duel. I am so sorry. I looked at his hand. Everything about that play was terrible. I am sorry. How would you feel about a retrain and new cards for the Harpy Ladies? Um, yeah, I think they definitely do need more support. Um, they don't need more cards like Harpy's Feather, Ever, Harpy's Feather Storm. Um, that was far too much for them. Your Dark Magic Curtain summons my Dark Magician too. Do you think that'd be such a good idea though? Like revamping the original series and then you can promote all the new archetypes that you've put out now. So like Mako Tsunami summoning his, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? Uh, oh God, it makes this noise. <laughs> what's wrong with me? I don't want to look at chat because I know you'll tell me the right answer. And I need to. It goes. Oh. <laughs> In the dub. He gives it to Joey Wheeler. Oh, God. Joey Wheeler gets Insect Queen, Jinzo. Oh. <laughs> Big Sam. Um. Legendary Fisherman! <laughs> I forgot its name. Like, imagine um, modern Mako Tsunami summoning Legendary Fisherman 3 or something with Sea Stealth Attack. Maybe he gets his Karyu Shin, Floodgates Yugi in Duelist Kingdom. Oh my god. Imagine the twist in the first episode where Yugi gets out Exodia, but instead of Insta Win Exodia, he gets out. I don't know, Exodia, the the incarnate one, the new one that Grandpa has. I mean, he did Floodgate Yugi, literally. That is true, yeah. Did Joey ever summon Legendary Fisherman, though? Like, ever? He did. He summoned it in um, his duel against Odeon. Was it? I think he did summon against Odeon. I think. I think he summoned against Marek as well, did he? I'm sure there's a duel where he gets out all of his um his new ace ace monsters kind of thing. Yeah. Because I did my like what if video if he got legendary uh Wing Dragon of Ra. And my big what if was like he would get to the finals, he would play against Yugi. And the big moment would be him summoning his three new ace monster things out, his uh, Battle City prize monsters, and then tribute all three of those monsters to summon the Winged Dragon of Ra. Um, okay. What did he do? Target my fortress? Is that what just happened? He did. Ooh, Machina Overdrive cost me the duel here. GG. Which of these archetypes would Yugi play? Um, I guess... You know what that would be really... You know what you could do with uh, Yami Yugi then? So, obviously in the first episode he plays uh, the Millennium archetype. The one that... The new Grandpa deck. And then throughout the rest of the series, you literally give him... Bits and pieces of his uh, 16 different decks he's got now. So, like, he could start with, like, a Dark Magician deck. or we'll probably end with that. And then you could he could play, like, um, a uh, Gaia the First Knight deck, a Blackluster Soldier deck, things like that. And then, obviously, it could accumulate in uh, the Yugi versus Yami Yugi duel. Where Yugi would play, like, an, I don't know, an Egyptian God deck or something. With some of his iconic monsters in there. And then little Yugi plays the new uh, Shining Sark deck. As an option. Should 
Joe Brighton's a legendary fisherman, and do you have any races? Yeah. Mainline TCG anime. It's been a while, to be fair. I mean, we've, got, we've had Rush Duel. But that feels like... It's not mainline Yu-Gi-Oh, is it? I mean, I'll take it. I think what we'll do, we'll stick on Machina for now. And then I think the first loss we have with Machina, I'll try out Galaxy Eyes. And I'll just put in... Noir counters. TGS's preferred deck is Blue Eyes. You love Kaiba? I like Kaiba. I think Kaiba's a cool character. I like Blue Eyes. Uh, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Dark Magician. I guess I would pick Blue Eyes. I do like Dark Magician, though. I think if Red Eyes had more, I wouldn't mind that. How do I like my eggs? Is this a trick question? <laughs> uh, I like my eggs any way, shape, or form. I like eggs a lot, so I'll eat them anyway. But I tend to have scrambled, but I don't mind sunny side up fried. Poached is also equally nice. Generally can't tell if I'm being there. Uh... Would you eat them raw? Nah, I wouldn't eat them raw. I've uh, I had a I went to a gin festival thing, and I was served a raw egg in a drink, but I think they like frothed it up or something. They put the raw egg in and they, and they served me that, and that was quite nice. So, ain't too bad. I probably should have summoned that. Big interrupts. Poached is nice, but I always mess it up, so I just do scrambled. Yeah, I'd say poached is top tier. We should do a a tier list for eggs. How many duels did Little Yugi win? It was just two, wasn't it? Oh no, he played against Bandit Keith, Joey Wheeler, possessed. Bandit Keith possessed. Joey Wheeler possessed. Yami Yugi, Bakura, four, right? And Joey on the first episode, five. Are we counting Dark Side Dimensions? Seven, then. He threw against Rebecca, technically. And he probably would have won. In fact, he would have won. I can't remember if he technically beats Kaiba. I talk about this some, in one of my videos. I can't remember which one. Oh, no, I got interrupted. No, no, he, de he definitely beats Kaiba in Dark Side of Dimensions. There's a fantastic video by a content creator. Uh, I can't remember who made it, but the video is called um, Was Kaiba About to Defeat Yugi? Dark Side of Dimensions. Uh, he breaks down like the whole duel and he like keeps track of all the cards in both their hands until the end. And then I think at the end he said uh, Kaiba's set face down was unplayable. Is he British? Yeah, I think he is actually. I think he's... Um... Sounds like I should go watch it. I think you should. Should uh, leave the guy a like as well for putting out decent content. You know? I think he tries really hard. What do you think about Jack Atlas? Jack Atlas, cool. Does he have great hair? Um, it's all right. I think he needs to have a shower and wash it. I think he looks like the kind of person that had a bath yesterday, but when he has baths, he doesn't wash his hair. He just kind of relaxes in them. So I think he didn't wash his hair, but he should probably just stick his head under the shower and just swill it just to freshen it up. I wonder what games he plays. Probably half. Yeah, he seems like a half stone kind of guy. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa! 
Hold on. Whoa! Su Cheer with the bloody hell. Ten gifted? Why? Um, I'll take it. Su Cheer, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you for being awesome. Hopefully this makes up for some of the income you lost. Su Cheer, you're no one under no obligation to do anything like that. Like literally, it's it's my problem at the end of the day. But I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Guys, if you got a free gifted sub off of Su Cheer, give him a big thank you. You are literally You don't have to watch adverts now or anything. <laughs> uh, you get a free emote, loyalty badge, all that jazz. Thank you, Suchia. What a legend. What is this? I've never seen this one of these Time Thief cards before. Whoa. That's cool, but cool artwork with a face in the background and everything. Perpetua. Perpetual. Redoer. Redo. Winder. As in a clock. Cool archetype. So if his face down is live, I'd like to be able to summon prison. Speaking of what happened with the strike, dropped. We won. Yeah, very happy with that. Super happy with the turnout. Have to bring it out. I think we're swapping to Galaxy after this duel. I mean, that's what's happening. I think so. This will fly away, won't it? It's a shame he didn't attach uh, Fortress to him. Does this YouTuber use the word shenanigans a lot? <laughs> uh, I think he does. I think his favorite words are shenanigans, misplay, um, let's just jump into it. Isn't that what um, Philip DeFranco says as well? Let's just jump into it. Wait, do I say that? What do I say at the start of my videos? We won't know unless we jump into the duel. That's the one. Jump into the duel. Can't jump into a door. What are you talking about? These gifteds are also for playing my second favorite deck, Galaxy. I'll take it for that, Suchia. Thank you very much. Do you still have your first ever Yu-Gi-Oh card? I don't know what my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh card was. Um, iconic, memorable cards that I used to have. Um, that are, are like the first ones I ever had. I still have those. Um, Big Koala is like the oldest card I remember having. Um, Time Eater is really old as well. It's like ripped in a really specific way that I just always remember it. It's got like a little rip on the side. Um, yeah, I've got some of my first ever cards. I don't know what my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh card was though. Haven't got a clue. An actual Time Thief uh, player, what a chad. I know. I think the only time I've ever gone against pure Time Thief was when like the support came out in the game. And that was it. Save some with the replay. We can watch it after this. Thank you. Royal finish. Malefic Cyber and Dragon. I do have all my uh, secret rare Malefics. I've got play sets of them. Konami Dragon. Played. I don't remember I've got it as a single row back. Right, I think we pivot. Sorry, Cyber Dragon. Oof. So. Copy from my decks. Yes, we would like to delete. Sorry, Machina. Let's go to Galaxy. Select the deck. Yep. Some illegal cards in there, no worries. 
To be fair, we don't always go into Soul Dragon, so it's not like a huge deal. Put a second Zeus in, maybe. Oh, it's a comp like literally, it's a legal deck, isn't it? Um, Nibiru can go. So we want to put in. Oh, I forgot the name. Um. What's the card called? Abyss something? Herald. Could put the rumor in. Might be a little bit slow. I think we put two of these in or just one? Ash Blossom against Pearly. There's a little bit, I guess. Harpies isn't as big of an issue. I probably could take that out. We're not playing against Ubel now. Mm, probably worth having. I guess we could get rid of Call by. Mm. Two thrust over two herald, yeah. I think that make that does make more sense because we can pivot then, can't we? I think called by that last ash blossom on the the chopping room floor. We'll see how things go. Go oh, the replay. I'm sorry. Can I cancel? I was gonna say the can the cancel normally like messes it up. It goes weird. Three evenly. Oh, for Kashtira. Infinite Impermanence. Great cards. The only problem with the gal putting stuff in Galaxy deck is you can't go over the top with it. Like, every single card is kind of really important. So if you overstuff the deck, it, it hurts it. He let me go first. Very suspicious. Okay, I think we'll bait with Orbital. I don't think he has. Actually, I've got Call By. Call By is good. Ignore me. We'll keep Call By in the deck. Uh, I either want Afterglow. Or a Vanisher. I'll take Summoner for now. I think Afterglow is important, though. I think Wizard will get me Afterglow. Sorry. Galaxy Soldier will get me Afterglow. <laughs> That'll do. Afterglow. Uh, extra normal summon. Emperor's effects. Come back to the field. Special summon. Right. Tribute itself. I think I want an expedition. Normal summon summoner. Summoner's effect. Special summon. Wizard. Back to the field. Summoner's effect. Turn this into a level four. Expedition. Summon photon dragon. Animation and all. Hundreds of effects. Uh, we can summon into the extra monster zone if he has anything. Oh my god, wait. I can't believe that. We're actually playing against Galaxy. Uh, it looks like it anyway. Uh, special summon a number monster from your opponent's extra deck. Let us summon 
What's this? Once per turn, during standby phase, you can attach one card from your put your standby phase. This card is exceeds summons. Look, look at your opponent's extra deck and send one card from it to the graveyard. You can attach one material from this card. I can get rid of two cards from his extra deck. That's kind of fun. Or I could just take this. Yeah. We get to do it again in the next turn, so. Right, we got a we got a Harbinger. You love to see it. Let's make ourselves next a Monster Negates. There we go. It's a Galaxy Monster. Let's double its level. What else do we want on the field? Um. Should we put a Harbinger on? Uh, sure, why not? Tachyon Dragon as well. And last but not least, the monster to protect them all. By the way, I found out a really good use for. Uh, what's his face? Photon Orbital, you attach it to this, and it's immune to battle destruction and effect destruction, which is really good. You think I should have made a second Harbinger there? Add a Harbinger to your hand, yes please. Right, so we make a second Photon Dragon to banish another card from his extra deck by... Negating effect. Negating effect. Star Legion's effect. Special summon. No. Didn't expect the uh, the lava. Blech. How did you predict the uh, the lava golem sage then? How did you do that? Huli. Ah, oh, I forgot about Mekanko. Oh, um, this can counter Mekanko. Oh. 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 Uh? Floodgate or Labyrinth, what is this? I approve of neither. Luckily, this is level 8. I can overlay with it, but I've got nothing. Cypher Blade. Horus Burn. Cease Fire. I'll have two level eights in a moment. That will be nice. Afterglows attached to Harbinger. Uh, sorry, uh, Tachyon, unfortunately. I'm gonna go a different route. Normally I do attach it to uh, Emperor, but I think I went a different route this time. I'd filled up my field. Oof, trap trick. Touche. Whoa, ring a 
going to struggle. This is where I really do wish I had my... Uh... 4,000 life points left. 3,000 life points left. This is not going to go well. Got a little burn. Honestly, I don't think... Um, even even if he didn't have the Lava Golem, I think I was still screwed there. No, because he wouldn't have been able to destroy my cards. Or target them. So it might have been okay. If the shoe was on the other foot... Oh... Sage Sun, I am sorry. I get in a I get in a mindset, you know. I am sorry. I'll rectify it. Twelve minutes is not okay. Plus I've lost this duel already. Oh my god, that's awful. Imagine having a hand like that. That's what you get for manifesting that lava golem. That is true. You did speak it into existence. Could have won that duel. <sighs> well, I don't think I'm losing instantly anyway. And I've got some. I've got to do a serious top deck here. By the way, C62 is really good against Pearly. I guess it is, yes. If I can get C62 out, it's immune to uh, their fat cat. Oof. The problem is I've got to I've got to get it out. I've got two unsummonable monsters and two unplayable cards at the moment. Have to summon a monster, have to be able to summon Vanisher. You're playing Kaiju Mikanko. <laughs> Fair enough. It's the Xyz event, you bell. Kenko. Don't like that muffin. Still don't like it. Not a fan. I love Galaxy Eyes hands. I can't tell you how much I bricked with this deck in the Xyz Cup. <clears throat> It's the problem with any nostalgia deck, really. That has three guaranteed brick boss monsters. I guess the risk you play playing like level eight decks that don't have like another effect. Like a modern day, a modern day Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon would have this effect, and then at the top it'd be like, you can discard this card. If you do, add one galaxy card from your deck to your hand or something like that. That's how they make, like, bricky cards modern. Freshly made chocolate chip cookies, you win. You do win. Favorite archetype from each era. Dual monsters. 
Mm, I'm a big fan of the new Shining Sarcophagus archetype. But I guess if you mean like archetypes that actually came out at the time. Um... Probably blue eyes then. I like Destiny board as well though. Like a Destiny board deck. Like a Bakura deck. But blue eyes is good as well for dual monsters. GX, uh, Cyber Dragons, easy answer. 5Ds, probably Red Dragon Archfiend. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, Zexel. Um, Galaxy Eyes, I guess. That's why we're playing it now. Uh, I never really liked Gagaga very much. I think the Utopia monsters are cool, though. Pretty snazzy. I also liked the um, the rail archetype, whatever it's called. The train archetype. Trains. They're kind of sick. Rank 10 trains. Um, Arc 5. Predator plants. Cool. Zark deck in general. Probably Zark deck. Fluffle cool is cool though. Fluffle Edge Imp. And then for Vrains. Trickstar, I guess. Code Talk is awesome. And there's some there's some there is some really decent archetypes in there, but I'm gonna have to, I, I like Trickstar for some reason. We really needed that second expedition. Oh, is that what this just given me? Well, well, well. I might, should we drop an expedition? Because it's searchable. Anna Kaboom, she's the Sundere of Zexel, yeah. What is winning? One less expedition for um, third thrust. The problem with thrusts is if we go first, so I'd rather have a talents because they don't have a monster. Replay, thank you, chat. I, honestly, <laughs> I think I remembered. Anyway, let's go into the next duel. Haha. <laughs> you know how I was ready? I've got it already copied. Sageson, thank you very much for redeeming. Watch my replay live. We'll watch it right now. Uh, the one versus I. Oh, got a smiley face. Is a replay before replay day. <laughs> nice master duel. Ew. Is this for the Xyz Cup? I'm guessing. No, it's not because the it's not an Xyz field. This is genuine Mikanko Xyz Speedroid. Synchro Xyz Ritual. Against Labyrinth. Mm. Fire Mikanko spell. I love getting my hand ripped away before I can use it. Will replay day actually be tomorrow? Yes, of course it will. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Can't you just special summon uh, Terra Top again? Or is it a once per turn thing? No, you can summon it again. Or was that a normal summon? I think it was a normal summon. No, special summon. Nice. Keep yourself alive. Upgrading to Zeus. Wipe the field. Nice. Good play.
And we're back in it, baby. Seize Armor Fortress. Another full armored Xyz. Crystal Lancer. Dark Knight Lancer. Oh my god. I'm going to see back from the grave. Absorbed. Waft. It's too big brain for me, that is. What's replay day? Replay day is where you can submit your replays that you've saved and we'll watch them live for absolutely nothing because normally you have to use 17,500 channel points. So you have to watch the uh, the channel for a while. But uh, on replay days, you can watch it, submit it for nothing. For one channel point. Bum, 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 bum. Just eradicate you. Tried to. One material. There's the eradicator. Gonna go for spells. Yep. The equip monster was classed as a spell. And we lost our armor Dixies. My goodness, there's a lot going on here. Big attack boosts. And the question is... Can they survive with seven materials? Eight materials? No, seven materials, sorry. No, seven. No, four. Wait, seven. Seven materials. No, four materials. Rank seven. My bad. <laughs> Did you mention the replay? Mekanko wins. That was a bit of everything, that was. Sage some well done. Uh, way too good for me. I, I couldn't appreciate it. Because there's... Uh, I've never played Mekanko. I've never played the Armored Xyz cards. Um, I guess I played a little bit of Speedroid. He misplayed, but that is what I'm cooking with Mekanko at the moment. Looked like fun. Quite strong as well, to be honest with you. A board wipe was satisfying. I'll just point to doing it against a, a Labyrinth loser. Tom with the emo only chat for two minutes. Uh, we can do that. Did I lose that coin flip? I did. God, it's been so long since emo only's come on. Uh, I forgot how to do it. There it is. Chat, I'll see you all in two minutes when I figure out where the button is to put emo only mode on. Oh, someone's done it for me. Silver Defender. Moderator of the year. Thank you very much. Uh, two minutes. I'll even set a little timer to remember. That's a calculator app. I do apologize. I'm getting the wrong thing out. Stopwatch, timer. Two minutes. There we go. All right, we're good. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. Tom flexing his emotes. You're the one that got us in this situation. You might as well. I'm actually really glad that I didn't base that um, stream chair stair thing on my actual streaming chair. Because obviously this one's like green and, well, the cover's green, but it's actually like gray. Uh, my old one was like black and blue. But if I'd have done that, then I had bought a different chair. I'd have felt locked into one color of chair. And that's not the way one should live. Dark powers with a H2O, I can do that. Ooh, we 
he milled a card that I wanted. Thank you, thank you. I've just realized I've got... To be fair, we can still use Photon Sanctuary's effect, couldn't we? Even though I don't have a Link Monster. Power spent for the H2O. Keep me hydrated. Honestly, if I don't have to deal with an Arise Heart, I feel confident. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, we got um, Thrusts. We can get our anti Arise Heart card. Triple Tactics Talent. So we just. We activate Harpies. He absorbs a card. We thrust into talent. We talent. Put Zeus on our side of the field. We've got... That was two minutes? That was quick. Welcome back, everybody. Silver Defender on the ball today. I like it. Should put a Kaiju in the deck. No, we got... We've, we've, we've got out. Story. Ooh. Fenrir. Play Mass Storm, not that good, not that bad. That's okay. Where we all start. Right. Harpy's Feather Duster. Let's get rid of that back row. One Lava Golem, shuts that down that deck. I need a normal summon every now and then, though. Ooh. I can't counter Ash Blossom because my thing won't go to the grave. Ooh, and we lost Emperor. And I've lost one of my Photon Dragons. That is really sucky. Well, here we go. Thrusts into Talent. Or is this an Ash Blossom? Yes. No. Do you run Zeus? I run two Zeuses. In case he gets sniped by Unicorn. Come to me. Now, the right answer for the opponent is to banish his own Arise Heart. That's the right thing to do. Smart. What is that? Kashtira Oblock. This card is banished. You can target one effect monster opponent controls and get its effects until the end of this turn. I've never seen Kashtira Overlap before. That's cool. Yo, he looks insane in that artwork. That's sick. Wait! Is that a Rise Heart? Is that something I should have known, actually, now I think about it? I didn't realise. Oh yeah, Snatch Steel's gonna be live as well. I forgot about that. That's cool. You know what I should have put in the graveyard? Anything other than what I've just done here. Uh, as long as I get a level 8 in the grave, we're fine. Uh-oh. Um, I think I've misplayed. Uh... I 
I really do think I have misplayed, you know. Trance. Yeah, not having the link is kind of annoying. It's a bit harder for me to get. So this will let me search. Oh, no, that's fine. We got this. We're okay. What am I afraid of? We're all good. 2 2k monsters. Oh. I've already used Expedition. Expedition's in the grave. Oh, we got sent to the grave. That's why I'm so confused. So we take... Yes. What a misplay. I was meant to add uh, Afterglow. Yeah, I was supposed to get Afterglow. That I don't know why that happened. Uh, I think I distracted myself. Because I'm an idiot or something. Something wrong with me. Bro does play number monsters, but I can't get rid of them. Mm. It's Typhon or Big Eye. I don't hate Typhon though. Typhon. Chat one made me this way. What? What happened in my life to make me misplay so much? Why will I never be great? You had three different chances to get Afterglow and you missed all of them. I don't deserve to be a duelist. I know. I'm ashamed of myself. What I represent as a duelist. If I was a character in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, I would be that little kid that uh, played the dragon deck during the uh, Grand Championship arc that had just dragons in his deck and didn't know what back row was. Five monsters. I was about to say, where's my trance? But I used it. Dragon's best deck? True, but that kid played um, only dragons in his deck. He didn't put any spells or traps in. So he just kept getting uh, his poo, poo pushed in. Watch you not get punished. I don't think I should get punished. I think I've learned my lesson. Um, I don't think I need to be punished any more than I, I already have. You know? I think you lose now. Mm, do we lose? Can he get 8k on the board? Ooh, I've only got... He can't make another Arise Heart. I'm not scared of that. Unless he can recycle a face down Arise Heart. Actually, not too sure. Burst really good here. Yes. Five hundred. Oh no, he can special summon Carne. With birth seconds effect. If you're planning to Oh no no, we're okay, we're okay. I've always I was thinking of the trap there. The right answer I would say is number C sixty two. Ooh. Wrong choice. Nice. Ooh. You know, if I activate Numbers Last Hope, I don't have two level eights in the grave. Still. Hmm. Yeah, Kashtira Birth is really bad for us. 
Because he'll just banish everything in my grave. Spell effect, then he just banishes free from grave. So, when I put Photon Dragon in there now, and say, if I activate Numbers Last Hope, does the effect, does, do I get the monsters out, then he banishes from my graveyard, or is that, will I be too late? I'm going to find out the hard way anyway, but... How you been doing? I've been doing alright, thank you. Doing good, doing good. Monster's out, then he banishes. Unfortunately, I had to risk him banishing another card. So the second card is going to go for... I hate the fact that my number C62 is a royal finish. It's going to draw his eye to it. Like, he's going to have to hit it. What else would he hit? Harbinger? Only a fool would hit Harbinger. If it's a recognizable card. People know what it does. <laughs> I can see the future. Afterglow. Numbers last hope. I believe in the me that believes in the future. Summon. It is too risky to summon a Galaxy 100 there, unfortunately. I'll upgrade my two Photon Dragons. It's a Gal uh, number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. I lose three or six cards in the graveyard. Three. Sam, check your Twitter. Sure. Tag me in a video. Is the copy of the tubes deck I ran? Some cards in there I dismantled to craft other cards in my deck. Let's have a look. Oh, is this the... What was this? The Ubel deck? Ah. Oh, you play Free Guys Grinder Golem? Nice. Uh, thank you very much. I'll probably will, uh, might have a little look at it later. Be good for next month. I appreciate that. Thank you, Jay. Right. Now nothing can go wrong. Hmm. Sanctuary's kind of dead, isn't it? Chuck that in there. Do you want to guess any special summons kind of defense? Is there any points? Probably not. Battle phase. Activate the effects. Right, let's see if this guy reads cards. Never mind. What's that? Possibly game? It is game. Duelist, well played. Yeah, the luck from Ido and Puppet is the worst. I'm glad it's gone. Definitely. Dark Overlord, look at my ma last message. Thanks. Some great news. I'm trying to build you Bell, and I managed to craft a royal finish you Bell, the loving defender. Well done then. That's sick. Are you going to play it at one or two in your deck? In case you go against Kashtira. Or I guess Galaxy Eyes as well. You take that win. You also got a Royal Finish Defender Forever 2. I hope we can get a Royal Finish uh, Defender Forever as well. That'd be sick to have. Amazing. Opponent didn't search Kashtira of Therosis with Unicorn, never punished. Should I do one or two? One seems to be what most people play, so probably one makes the most sense. But I guess if you're getting set up with your Super Poly, I guess you don't need to.
Level 8 in the grave and ready. That is absolutely fine. I can live with that. Photon Orbital will get me Wizard. Wizard will get me... What will Wizard get me? Wizard will get me Trance. Trance will get me two level eights. Galaxy 100 will help me go even further beyond. Wizard. Level Cement. Um, yeah, let me get Trance with Wizard. What do I take afterglow? No, because I'm going for I'm doing the trance version of this. Numbers last hope is an alternative. I've been ashed, haven't I? Yes. Photon Dragon and Afterglow. Hoping you got some decent number monsters in there. Ooh, Zodiac. Hmm. I think getting rid of the two Zeus would be a priority. I mean, I could go for my boss monster now. That would be the worst thing in the world. I guess because they're an Xyz deck, we can put that out now. And then a play for later. Just got to watch out for Zeus, obviously. I think we put the talents there and we get... Obviously, Numbers ha Last Hope is a big one. I wouldn't mind Numbers Last Hope. If they lose both Zeus. That's what I'm trying to do. So I just need to negate an effect. And dump. Afterglow to the grave. I'm not going to add... That's okay. We've lost the negate, but we can still detach a monster by attempting to negate. But I would have liked to have added um, Numbers Last Hope there if things go really pear-shaped. Mm. Samus one country near UK would love to visit for a holiday. Uh, I've been to France. I've been to, I've been to France twice. Uh, I've been to Germany. Oh, and that is getting Zeus out before I can do anything. Um, Germany was really nice. I'm going to Italy next year. Um. I don't know, to be fair. I'd like to go back to Germany. I've been to... Sp oh, been to Spain a bunch of times. Been to Greece. I guess Russia would be interesting to go to. Sort of... Checklist. I wouldn't go to Russia right now. I don't know why it's there. Ow.
You got me. Like Ireland. I have never been to Ireland. I've been to Scotland. I've been asked to go to Ireland twice. I definitely would go. Yeah. Honestly, second board wipe would destroy me. What did you like about Germany? Um, I don't know. The atmosphere. I like that I could get anywhere uh, just from the uh, the trains. Like, the trains took you everywhere. Or the tram. Uh, the, yeah, the trains. Trains. Um, food was nice. Beer was better. Uh, and we went for the German market kind of time. And it was quite magical because it started snowing while I was there. So it was like, oh, this is nice. As with all my friends. I can out the Zeus with Galaxy's Eye Galaxy Eyes' effects. I can also out the Zeus with this. Um, so I can either guarantee its effect won't work, but the back row is scary. Or I can attack and he can risk the back row. Let's see what he does. Damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. He's done that a bit early, though. Because I can just do this. He should have waited until I declared an attack. I think he was worried about my Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Bakaru! And I just, if he's got a second Imperm or Book of Moon... Ha ha! <laughs> You got me. So, either way, that was the better way of doing it. We actually got off quite well there. Uh, if he draws a 1,400 attack point monster, uh, we're cooked, unfortunately. I need numbers last hope, like now. Oh, God. 4,200 attack. Can he upgrade that into a stronger monster? Or does it not work like that? Check a nine. Twelve. You're not the guy, pal. Oh, yeah. Vespinato. To be fair, I was trying to get rid of these Zeuses. These Zeuses. Zeuses. But uh, I got interrupted. With Imperm. Well done, opponents. Isn't Bulbor 1600? Maybe. Spinato got me anyway. I've won three duels in nearly three hours. Jeez. Am I in top 100 yet? <laughs> Zeus is unlimited now. Uh, in like two days, yeah. So we get Zeus unlimited... Um, heavy Storm at one, I assume. Snatch Steel at one, I assume. Uh, yeah, come over to Islands. You'd have a great fun. Plus, if you do somehow, I'd definitely ask for a picture and an autograph. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, thank you, Overlord. Appreciate it. Show your moves. Snatch still at three. Wow. That is mighty impressive.
Woofed. Um. I really do want to play into Max C, you know. Oh, <laughs> he's got so much stuff for me to summon. Oh, I'm summoning something. Um, what do you do? You can target one face of existence. You can attach one exclusive to resistance. Nah. Yeah, Baguska. I think that's the move. And then we thrust. Into. That'll do me. I'm just hoping he can't do anything. Labyrinth. That is not good. I mean, Baguska is going to stop the lovely ladies and stuff from using their effects. Oh. Rip Trance. First turn thrust, just not, it's not cricket, is it? Oof, 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 oof. His big welcome's live. Oh dear. He'll probably bounce his Baguska back to his hand and then just destroy everything. Silver Defender with the <laughs> emo only chat. Silver in control of it as well. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good time. Too fair, you don't have to witness this horror. That's um, a, 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 a Zenless. A, Zenless Zone something, Zenard, or something like that. I watched a couple cutscenes from it the other day. Also, thank you for the 30 bits, Sage Zen. I saw, um, who did I say? I saw the maid people. There was like a wolf man and three maids. One of them had a shark tail. They seem cool. There's um an anime game. It's meant to be like anime Dark Souls. Uh, I think I actually might try and play it. It might be terrible, but uh, and it's my wish list. Where is my wish list? Where would one find his wish list, by the way? Activity. Oh. Chat, I need some help here. Just spamming emotes. Where's my wish list on Steam? I found it. I found it. Thanks for helping, chat. AI limit, it's called. Um, 
In the distant future, when civilization is on the verge of extinction, people follow the legend of the Elysium in the last city. Havenswell. Heaven, Heavenswell. Havenswell. In this post-apocalyptic wasteland sci-fi ARPG, you will play Orissa, a blader with un <coughs> a blader with immortality. Explore the city ruin to find the hope of a new life. Final release, 2024. Look kind of cool. In a world. Is it Code Vein? No, somebody else said Code Vein to me. Is Code Vein good? That's, that's the second time I've heard that name. Code Vein. Oh, that does have a very similar thing, actually, yeah. It just, I saw it team up with something AI. In the face of certain death, we rise. Team up and embark on a journey to the ends of hell to unlock your past and escape your living nightmare in Code Vein. Oh no, the, the tree's bleeding. There's a synopsis. Is the one? Oh, that was it. Mostly positive, very positive. Released 2019, Bandai Namco. The game may contain content not appropriate for all ages, but may or may not be appropriate for viewing at work, frequent violence, or gore and general mature content. Hmm. Hmm. You look like Tear Zoo. I don't know who that is. But. Okay. Is that good or bad? Or is it neither? What's game sound to Code Vein. Code Vein. Haha! -ha! All your monsters have 29 or more 100 attack. My Typhon. That's GG. That is GG. Hell hath no fury, like a labyrinth player. Not Code Vein, you have one. Oh, uh, AI... What did I just say it was called? AI something. Also a YouTuber with a similar luscious, beautiful beard. I've shaved all mine off. It's, uh... I'm beardless at the moment. I'll take it, though. Vampire Quat Bloodborne. So apparently I should play Code Vein then. You should stream Shadow of the Earth Tree. I guess it's getting everything set up again. If I want to stream Shadow of the Earth Tree, I've either got a download it on PC and play for the entire game again or I've got to buy a catch card if I want to do Xbox gaming up here so I've got to make a decision I've got all these plans for playing regular games on stream but I'm so worried like I know I should just do it for fun I know I should be like chat I'm going to force you all to watch my my childhood favorite games we're going to play the original Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Banjo-Kazooie, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, uh, Luigi's Mansion. I can't believe I've won that duel. I should have absolutely lost that. Uh, Pikmin 1, 2... Pikmin 1, should I say. But, like, I'm just... Ugh. AI Limit, that was it. It was AI Limit. I saw a trailer for it, and it looked okay. I don't know if it is any good, but... I'd, I probably will strike that on stream. How do they lose? They just... Their dinner got made or something. We're here to hang out with you, man, not the games you play. That's true. I do appreciate that. But 
I know for a fact. <sighs> but I said it earlier. It's like I, I sh you shouldn't stream sometimes. Going for the views, like I know if I don't stream Yu-Gi-Oh, the views aren't great. So I know I'll probably be disheartened when I start playing like something I'm streaming to like 50 people or something, but or less. But sometimes it's just one of those things. Uh, Raijin, thank you very much for the raid. Hello, everybody from Raijin's Raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, How was Ray's stream today? But I just do get ashed. <laughs> but not today. Miscellaneous Mondays used to be amazing. Oh, miscellaneous Mondays. To be fair, uh, about a year ago was probably the last time I played something. We played Stray, didn't we? Stray and the, the music game. Sky with the H2O. Thank you very much for feeding me water. Appreciate it. Uh, what have we got in our hands? We've already got a jumper, so we're taking Vanisher. Thank you, Sky, for keeping me hydrated. So, dump the jumper. He was playing Labyrinth in the Xyz event. Wasn't the Labyrinth player I just played, was it? <laughs> he grinded for like nine hours. Where did he get to in the end? I always use my channel points to hydrate you. <laughs> Which is good. I have been told I need to drink more water. My my parents popped around today and they uh they bought me some bottled water to keep me alive. Mmm. Should I have taken Wizard there? I think I should have taken Wizard there. Oh, I think that was a misplay, that was. Good old bottle of water. Poor oh, blimey. I watch your VODs a lot since I'm tired after work normally and sleep, unless not too tired. I try to watch. Ah. Oh. One, two. Oh, you know what? I can get f four level eights out. That's not that bad. This is actually a much better first turn than I thought it was going to be. Show your moves. Ooh. Oh, I can special summon, special summon a number or banish them. I'll banish something. Um, it was this cicada that summoned. Um, getting rid of Dryden would be nice. I think I'd is it the Arise Heart or the Zeus. Arise Heart or Zeus. Mm, I'm gonna go for the Arise Heart. It hurts me more. I'm more frightened of it. Then I kind of go, could go for my boss monster now. Sit on a tower. That has won me um, some games before. Ah, oh, thank you, Solomon. The hundredth person is twenty-one thousand DP. <sighs> so we're not too far off. Then we can do that. Neos, thank you for the H two O. Yeah. 
Telesios. So what did you say? 21k DP is the top. Where are we at now? Look at that, 3,000. We're, we're already over 10% of the way there. Rankings. Yeah, 21k. Psh. No problem. No problemo. You're not even at 2k DP, are you? We're at 3, aren't we? 3k. Star Dragon Infinity, my boy. Best boy. Sam, you always have a, a place in my heart because you're the YouTuber I first started watching when I got into Yu-Gi-Oh. You've always been my number one Yu-Gi-Oh YouTuber. Thank you, Overlord. Is there anybody else that focuses on the anime, uh, like YouTube wise? Or am I the only one that's silly enough to, to risk the copyright? <laughs> I think I am. <laughs> um, Galaxy 100. Send. Team APS, kind of. I guess they do. They make, like, decks um, around the original series and everything. They, they talk about it. Oh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything. That's true. He Well, he reviews... I guess he did. He reviewed the anime series. I've just made a massive misplay, by the way. Oh, well. That's what I get for <laughs> not paying attention again. <laughs> Normal summon. And my question is, how am I get how am I getting that out? Normal summon photon jumper, equip it with orbital, orbital's effect. Add Think of thrown. I don't mean to, but I think that's what's happened. Ooh, or we could risk it all with trance on jumper. I got to level 19 with sexo sisters. And just stop there. That's the smartest move to make, to be honest with you. Best thing you can do. Get the gems, get out. Interesting. Do I want to look at my opponent's extra deck? Or do I just want to draw two cards? Tough. Real tough. I'll draw two cards. Because I've put myself in a pickle. That's exactly what I needed. Defense probably wasn't the move there. Oh, well. Um... Photon Emperor. Wait, where do you go otherwise? It goes to the grave, doesn't it? Yeah.
We're under Max C now. Yeah. Oof. So we're playing Horus. What would Horus not like to get banished? Probably Giant Trainer. I can live with Giant Trainer. I think I'm going to go for Zeus again. And zombie though. So screwed. <laughs> mm, I probably should have kept that in my hand, actually. Yeah. Jumper. I wonder if I could see up my boss monster. No, I couldn't because they've got the spell. Galaxy Summoner. Well, we're just playing into it now, aren't we? There is no way I don't lose this tall. There we go. Is that everything? That's me done. Here we go. Give me that trance. Uh, 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 what's it called? What's his face? I need it. Probably has an imperm somewhere over there. No, okay. Yes, sorry. Let's click no then. What does he have? Yeah, I think you look better with a beard. <laughs> it grows back, don't worry. And then we chop it off again. It's a vicious circle. Are you telling me? Oh, he needs. Are you telling me all those cards in his hand? He doesn't have the uh, the spell. Um. Sh I mean, sure, I'll negate it. I mean, there's a chance he doesn't have it. He's probably definitely got a call by in there somewhere. I might have to end up negating the called by with Harbinger. Cobalt Eagle. Secret village of the spellcasters. I'm jumping card destruction. It would be great. I knew it. I knew I'd have to negate it. I reckon he has two as well. So I reckon he'll chain a second call by. 20 quid. Uh, I can see the future. I'm also dying for the toilet. I think that's all my interrupts done, apart from battle, but I think his turn's going to be quite long now. Wait, wait. Okay. We'll live into it. Be right back.
Why didn't you tell me I left my bathroom window open? Bats and everything flying in, probably. Burglars. And people probably can hear me. Ah. Card destruction droll, and then trickstar reincarnation. That could have been a win. Is a maxi a fair card chat? I'm gonna keep Sam's super meta combo deck in check. Not in Romania. Fun fact, uh, we had a fruit bat fly into, um, it was before my old bedroom was in the loft. Um, wait, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. How am I not dead? I don't understand. Chat, how did I survive that? Also, would he have killed me? Once per turn, you can touch him with his card. Banish any as many specials as one wants to. Oh. <laughs> Seems them drawing 15 cards didn't do too much. But. But. I don't have a battle phase, which is going to suck. So we're going to have to upgrade uh, this to get rid of these. Oh, it's a Zeus moment. Yeah. Yeah, but if he Zeus's, Zeus's, he has to get rid of his uh, King Sark. Hola? Once per turn, you can attach two materials in this card. Banish as many specials on monsters you put controls as possible. Then attach one of those banished monsters to this card. If the face-up card on the field will be destroyed. Okay, so we're sound. We're sound as a pound. Ah. Uh, that's not that bad. It's annoying, but it's not that bad. Why would you put two on the field? Are you insane? Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Secret village. Uh, I don't have any spellcasters. They do. I mean, I can still attack into it. I can destroy secret village as well. Options. I can also special summon that, which is nice. Alright. Photon Dragon's effect. I've just realized it's going to dump a card of the grape. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. It won't work. Do I have two level eights in the grave? I don't. Keep him in defense. No battle phase. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Biggest issue over there is probably these King Sarcophagus, Sarcophagus cards. I mean, I can make a Zeus. So I think I have to get rid of those. Then again, the back row, though. That is something that's... I've just triggered uh, Imcity's effect. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> Imcity, no. I 
I should have gone for Secret Village for when he sends my monster to the graveyard. I can at least numbers last hope. So best case scenario is he doesn't send. Oh, he can get him back as well. That's true. God, Horus is annoying. He's adding Crystal Beast, Cobalt, Ingle, and Sark. And then he gets to send Sweet Boy to the grave. All I want to do is make a Zeus. He's trying. See, now I actually think I probably need to get rid of King Sarcophagus. Oh, I can't make a Zeus. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Hmm. I've got one spell, you selfish man. I'm sure my Photon Dragon interacts really well with their um, King Sark. So we lose our battle phase. I remember to go into it this time. Uh, not a great turn by me, let's be honest. My photon dragons are the key. I had to do that. Uh oh! <laughs> Forgot about that ability. When you completely underestimate the number 77, the seven deadly sins, and you probably should have taken it instead of banishing a Zeus. Too bad, I've never had it used against me. That well. People always use it for Zeus fodder. Alright. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk away with that. Herito, I can't remember if I had your water eight minutes ago, but thank you very much. That'll do me. Uh, that was my time in the tallest cup. Um... I think I definitely needed to play something more meta. As you guys were saying, pretty Exorcist. Could have counted a lot of stuff. I mean, we didn't do that bad. I don't think we did that bad. But I'm not no life in this. I just can't be bothered. I really can't. 3,400 though? What? Where would I be? Over 10,000th. Unfortunately, I'd have to push a little bit further if I want to get any higher, but uh, I don't want to. The yeah, icon being at 21k is crazy, yeah. Fair play to the people who get it, but uh, it will not be me. You know what I am going to do? I am going to copy this image for my thumbnail later. What should we have? Should we have paste crop file save as PNG? 
Hello? There you are. Why'd you take so long to save that then? Probably Cash or Horus, it seems. Yeah. So we're going to miss out on a prize. Oh, I did my... did my gems. Two more duels. That's all I'm missing out on here. Oh, did I do it? Seas cut. Two more duels for 30 gems. To be fair, we're going into next month with 10,000 and a bit gems to spend on Pearly. Per oh, did I just say Pearly? I'm sorry, you bell. Uh, I've got more bonus, bonus packs. I do not. Why would you want to win 20 of these? Like, if you come first, you get 20 packs, don't you? No one, no one plays that. I don't think anybody plays that. <laughs> no one plays that. Uh, I don't know if you people is that. <laughs> it's awful. So no, no love. We have a lot of the Unchained stuff. That's true. Whoa, okay. Five-headed dragon. Arm Dracapult Catapult Cannon and an Immortal Phoenix Gift Breed. Wow. Anything else while we're here? And a card of fate. All cards I already have, I think. Bum, 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 bum. Bless you, Sam. Thank you, chat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thrust is nice, nice in the deck, but it's more reactive, isn't it? So, like, if you win the coin flip, it's kind of useless, especially in this with no traps in the deck. Is that tachyon card a normal trap, or is it a counter? Um, not sure. There it is, counter trap. This is a great card. I wish I was brave enough to play it. If you activated this on Chainlink 6, it negates everything else. Underneath its chain. You have to be so brave to play it. Real brave. Galaxy brave, if you will. <laughs> I have the Gishkeet's keys. I pulled two of the Gishkeet's keys. Oh, well done. Oh, and the response from the server has just ended. That's perfect timing. Guys, thank you very much for joining the stream. You've all been awesome. I'm going to call that there. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We're going to do a replay day. So if you've got any replays you'd like to submit, um, save them now. Make them public. And we can watch them tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. my time. Seems next month we're going to start in Plat 5. Yeah. I'm very pessimistic we're going to get into um, Master Rank this season. But strange things have happened. You never know. We could pull it out of the bag. So uh, have a good one, everyone. We've all been awesome. Catch you all later. Look at the video and look into the mess around with the ratios. Yeah, for the, the U-Bell cards. Jay, thank you for sending me that as well. Uh, bye, everyone. Have a good day. Uh, but I might bring my old bionicles. I used to have these little mechanical mechanical men. I might put them on a shelf. I think that could be quite fun. Um, bye. See you later.